Hello, and welcome back to another episode. I uh, managed to push this tunnel basically all the way to the tu to the portal. You might notice behind me that um, I didn't do the copper behind the glass yet. I, uh, I will probably want to set up some sort of copper farm before I do that. Because, yeah, this is going to take a lot of copper to do it. Um... And I am short, like, four blocks at the end. But the reason why we're here is because our next uh, our next project for... T well, the project for today is over by the Ocean Monument, over by our Guardian Farm. So, let's go take a look. All right, now that we're here at the Guardian Farm and Raid Farm, I think it's time to do something that we ended last time talking about, which is shulkers we definitely need a lot of shulkers partially for the guardian farm and we have a uh, several other farms and areas around the base in the world that need shulkers so i figured we would build a shulker farm this episode and that way we can uh run some of our other farms that probably haven't been run in a while because we're missing all the shulkers so the farm that I want to build is by Ending Credits. It is a one-dimensional farm, meaning that we don't send the shulkers over into the nether at all. Um, and we are able to turn it off, although it does take quite a while for it to actually turn all the way off. But I will show you guys that after I build it. Speaking of which, I think it's time for another time lapse.
shulker farm is mostly built now. And I think this is a pretty cool design. So uh, let's go and take a look at it. If we uh, go into free cam mode, it'll be a little bit easier. I think we're gonna start down here. So most of this down here is uh, mostly decoration. Uh, we do have a sticky piston here. If I can go in here. Yeah, there's, there's a sticky piston with a bunch of slime blocks in there. And essentially all that that does is it turns on this redstone light or this redstone line. And it goes all the way up here and it powers this block. On the other side of this block is a trap door with a bunch of snowmen underneath it. When that trap door gets flipped up, they'll be able to see a shulker, which will be sitting pretty much right where this armor stand is. They will be able to teleport to this block here, and then the piston will push it down. And when the trap door shows up, um, opens up, the snowman will see the shulker, the shulker will see the snowman, they'll try to shoot at each other. But because there's a scaffolding in the way, the snowman's bullets won't hit the, the shulker, and the shulker shot, the shulker bullet, will go up through this... Um, elevator or this air gap here and occasionally will bounce down that way as well uh, when a shulker gets duplicated he will teleport somewhere to the underside of the half slabs and then they'll try to open up but because their hitbox will then interfere with the scaffolding they'll immediately try to teleport again and they will try to teleport up because that's where all of the um, all of the spots where they can teleport to are and eventually, after getting um, possibly even up to these two platforms up there, they'll eventually land on one of these five scaffolding blocks over here or the five scaffolding blocks over here. And that's where the minecart will be able to pick them up from. And then we have an activator rail here, so they'll get ejected out of the minecart and they'll end up inside of this block right here with the uh, armor stand. And that just means that with all of the bullets flying back and forth here, it's possible that we'll get duplications from within the holding chamber as well. And we will be ending up, we will be killing them using entity cramming. So once this farm gets up to speed, it'll be actually pretty quick. Now I decided to go with this design over some of the other ones that I've seen. There's a lot with like two dimensions, sending them over into the nether, but I didn't really want to deal with portals and having to clear out a space in the nether or going above the, the bedrock. Um, ending credits actually has a more, uh, another version after he worked on this version, this farm design that I, I built here. I just felt it was a little bit more complicated than I wanted to deal with. And I think this design here is going to get me more than enough shulkers as it is. So yeah, that was why I decided to go with this sh shulker farm. Now you clearly I am, um, I'm missing a few shulkers. So I might be explaining this because I don't actually really want to go to the end and grab a whole bunch of shulkers. But I guess my, um, my stalling tactics have ran out. So I'm off to the end and I'm off to go and grab some shulkers. I will uh, spare you guys from having to watch the very, very, very long void flying machine ride that I'm gonna end up taking. And the weather is kind of uh, reflective of my mood of trying to move all of those shulkers. So. The nearest end city that I found was like 1800 blocks away, which is about double what I was expecting. And we are starting to head out into uh, the wide open void here on the way back to the end island. So I will uh, bring these all the way back to the ocean monument and we'll get them in into the farm and get that up and running. Well, I think I'm at about 10 hours so far working on this episode and uh, I don't even have like a platform down there in a storage area but we'll get to that I do have three shulkers in the farm itself so I think there's going to be two in the holding cell behind me let's just do this so there should be two in here and then we're going to have one down here yep so that's our three shulkers in place already 
So I think I just need to turn it on and let it run and it'll start producing some shulkers. I think I would like to build a little platform down at the bottom and a spot to actually store the shulker shells that this farm produces. And then I'll end up cleaning up this huge floating bridge in the sky as well. So let me, uh, let me go run around and do some cleanup and let the farm run. I have finished building a little platform down here and I have also removed, uh, where was it? Yeah, it's up here somewhere. Remove that giant floating bridge. And yeah, it took me uh, probably a couple of hours. And as you can see, we have 18 and some stacks of uh, shulker shells. Plus a full shulker. Yep. I think that'll be enough shulkers for me for a while, at least. I know I have several farms that need a lot of... Uh, shulkers themselves like for exam example the raid farm over there i think that's gonna need something like almost five stacks of shulker boxes which really relates to about 10 stacks of shulker shells so a huge chunk of the, the shells that we just farmed is actually going to go right over there to the, sh the raid farm and then we also have like the lava farm and the bone meal farm and all those other farms so I think that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to run around and fill up all of the, my farms that need shulker boxes. And yeah. Over at the lava farm, I have filled up a chest down here with the lava shulker boxes. And I did run it once, which uh, took up about 10 shulkers. So I'm not sure if I want to fill up this chest as well, as I have another output chest. As I think I should have spare output chests. Uh, or, or more room in the output chest than I'm putting shulkers into the input. So yeah, that is Lava Farm. Over at the Bone Meal Farm, I did fill up the input chest with a bunch of shulkers as well. This is about half a chest of shulkers. I can probably put in some more if he, uh, for this farm. I do have some in the output. And I did realize that I have several farms that were kind of low on Bone Meal. So I went around and filled those up as well. So I should be looking good on bone meal for a while. And finally over at the raid farm, I did fill up the entire um, supply of shulker boxes here in the back. So I should be able to run this for quite a while now without running out of shulker boxes, which is going to be good because I need a lot of redstone. Yeah, definitely need a lot more than that. So I think it's time we move on to a new project. I think what I want to do is, well, we have a guardian farm over here. We now have a shulker farm over here and we have a raid farm. What we don't have in this area is a storage area. So I think what I want to do is probably over here somewhere. I think this little mound here, I would like to turn this area over here. I don't know how big exactly it's going to be, but I think we can use this little area over here for a storage area. Actually, before I get going, I should probably say that um, I'm planning on building the storage room under the water, which, uh, which means the build is going to be really annoying. So I managed to raid all of my storage rooms for eight Nautilus shells. And I had also found a Heart of the Sea, which I probably got from a buried treasure map. So I think what we're going to do is uh, go in here and make a conduit. Nice. So now I think what I'm going to do is head over here somewhere and set up my conduit. Um, well, that's the ocean monument. Let's go this way a little bit. And maybe line it up with the center of the ocean monument. Hmm. Let's do it here. Um. For those of you who have never used conduits before, what you need to do is make kind of like this uh, cage type 
shape with prismarine. And then you can put the the conduit in the middle and then you it needs to have water completely surrounding it. And then we can close this off like that. And then I think I need another band going around like this. Do, do, do. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, and boom. There we go. So now that should give us conduit power. And it continually refreshes. And I think it's a longer range the more prismarine you have around it. So that's why I went with the... And I think this is the max power of having essentially three uh, bands in all of the X, Y, and Z directions. So yeah, I think it's time to start that time lapse. Well, that took a lot longer than I was expecting it to, but uh, let's go take a look, why don't we? So the storage room has three, four, four entrances and four exits. Uh, two of these pillars here are entrances and two of them are exits. This one is an exit, as you can see. Got some soil soil going that way. So this one would then be an entrance. So yeah, 
And then we also have giant entrances here at the, I guess I'm calling this the front because that's facing the ocean monument. And then that would be kind of the, the back exit or entrance, which is heading towards the, oh, you can't see it, but that head towards the, the nether portal. Um, I wanted a little bit of storage up here. I think we'll probably use this for some of the more common, almost bulk items, probably a lot of prismarine. Uh, maybe we'll do some of like the, the raid farm uh, materials and then maybe shulkers as well. Uh, back here, I was thinking it would be nice to have some maps in the area and also in the world in general. So when I get some maps together, I will throw them up on the walls and that will look pretty nice, I think. And then I want to just kind of a uh, thrown together area of, with a bunch of different um, useful blocks like anvils, uh, brewer, and that kind of thing. And down here is where the actual heart of the storage room is. With all of these chests all over the place. And then here in the center, we have a little bit of another wart growing so that we can use the, the potion brewer up there. Um... I threw a little enchanting setup in here. I don't think I will ever use this. Yeah, I just, I, I guess I have librarian set up already and have all of the enchantments that I need already. So I don't think I will ever use this, but it does look nice here and it filled out the space quite nicely. The two machines on either side of the enchantment table though, these guys, I think I will use quite often. The idea behind it is I will put some shulkers into the chest here. So if I just grab some shulkers, empty shulkers. So what we can do is put some shulkers up here. Then I can hit the note block and a shulker will appear. And then I can fill it with whatever I want. And then I can hit the note block again. And that crushes the shulker which goes into a, a hopper underneath and I can access it down here. And there's all my stuff. So I will probably use these when I'm gathering materials for, for projects in the area. And I'll just load them up from here. And then when I'm, when it's full of items, I can just hit that, get a new shulker and start working on the next box. So yeah, I am quite happy with how this area turned out. Um, I think it'll be a lot of, well, it'll be quite useful for me. I had something else over here at one point and I hated it. So I ripped it out. So I might do something else here. Maybe I'll open this up and have another entrance like that one over here. But we'll see. We also, I mean, it doesn't quite make sense to have an entrance here and then also have an entrance in the corner. But yeah. We will figure that out. But I think this is going to be the end of this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time.